So as you guys know, I've been rocking the uh, Nexus 6P now for about a week or something like that. Uh, the main idea uh, of uh, getting the phone was uh, maybe potentially trying to replace my Edge Plus uh, for this phone. Just uh, looking for something with a bigger battery, uh, access to micro SD card, and still uh, 5.7 inch screen size, maybe bigger, and also with Super AMOLED. So, as I said before, when I first got this phone, I was going to do like a trial period and see if this phone was for me uh, before, you know, I make a final decision whether I keep it or I'm going to send it back. Now, uh, this video, guys, uh, it's to report to you guys uh, the amazing battery life on this phone. And I can tell you right now, and I'm going to show you the breakdown of my battery usage. Hands down, hands down, this phone kills big time. The uh, Edge Plus or like a Note 5 or something like that in terms of the battery department. I'm actually very, very impressed uh, with the results that I got in terms of the battery from the Nexus 6P. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, breakdown of my battery usage. It's been already over 24 hours and I still have battery and I've been using the phone in the high performance mode. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's uh, the phone. And I'm going to put the uh, brightness all the way up since uh, I'm sitting outside and it's kind of bright right now. Uh, so I'm down to 13% uh, battery life. Uh, take a look at right there, guys, 13%. Uh, right there. And as you guys can see, the battery now it's uh, showing red. So it's going to die sometime soon. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, breakdown. And... Here's a breakdown, as you guys can see, it's showing that I have left about five hours. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the uh, six hours uh, screen time on, so that's why I decided to stop right here and do the test. Even though I have 13%, maybe I can make it to another hour, I'm not sure, but I think this is just enough to prove uh, or to share with you guys my experiences in terms of the battery life. So let's. Fir the first thing I wanna show you is the screen time on. And there it is, uh, 5 hours and 18 uh, minutes. 5 hours and 18 minutes. Uh, basically, I kept the brightness, I will say like right there. So like uh, maybe 70% or something like that. Uh, the phone was all time in a high performance mode. I did not use the power saving mode because I don't like the orange color that it puts at the bottom of the, on the screen or at the top of the screen. On. So I kept it in the uh, high performance mode. And uh, let's see here, voice calls, uh, 2 hours and 41 minutes. Uh, my family is uh, visiting here, so my parents have been using my phone a lot to call uh, overseas. So two hours are worth in uh, conversations, uh, phone calls. Uh, Google services is showing right here. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, YouTube is showing 24 minutes. And down here is showing mobile radio active one hour and 26 minutes. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Standby, uh, one hour and 60 minutes under operating system one hour uh, phone idle one day and two hours I'm assuming that will be when I uh, went to sleep or something like that uh, Google Apps uh, 23 minutes CPU total so obviously everything below it's gonna be less and less this is uh, a range in the uh, top to bottom uh, so but yeah here like I said before uh, now it's at uh, 5 hours and 20 minutes and the way I use the phone guys uh, it was basically real world uh, I have done many tests battery tests before in the past comparing uh, multiple phones uh, just playing YouTube videos non-stopping uh, in the power saving mode and the brightness in the auto brightness uh, even though that doesn't really measure uh, like a normal activities because nobody's playing, you know, YouTube non-stopping for like 10 hours. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's a good test. I feel like, you know, this test right now, it's more realistic in terms of, you know, how I used 
uh, the phone, you know, just normal uh, for the last uh, day and a half. And I'm actually very, very impressed the fact that I was able to get over five hours screen time on. I'm still at 12% 12 battery life remaining, as you guys can see right there, 12%. And so, and according to that, I can go for another four hours. Uh, I don't think that will be realistic. I think maybe I can push it for like another hour, hour and a half. Uh, but running the phone in the uh, high performance mode and get over five hours of uh, screen time on, uh, making phone calls, using YouTube, accessing Facebook, uh, browsing, taking pictures and all that. I mean, that's that's really, really good uh, result. All right, my friends, uh, there you have it. Again, this was uh, my battery test uh, using uh, the uh, Nexus 6P. Or I shouldn't say battery test because I wasn't really testing anything. I was just using the phone and basically reporting to you guys the amazing battery life that I've been getting on this phone. So hands down, hands down, I do have to recognize that in terms of the battery department, the Nexus 6P is way better than the uh, Edge Plus or maybe like a Note 5 or something like that. This phone has a 3000 milliamp battery. The Note 5 is also the same, uh, 3000 milliamp. I believe the Nexus 6P is uh, 3450. So uh, in terms of the battery department, I'm happy with the phone. Uh, I will still report to you guys uh, as far as uh, the uh, camera performance, whether I'm gonna keep this phone or not. So on to the next video, my friends, uh, over and out. We'll see you later. Congratulations again to those of you that own this phone. Amazing battery life. See you guys uh, later.